On January 8, in 1876, the first Seventh-day Adventist baptism in Germany took place, conducted by the German-speaking Swiss Adventist pastor Jakob Erzberger, who you see in this photograph. Erzberger and John N. Andrews, the American missionary leader of Adventist work in Europe, had traveled to northwestern Germany to meet with a group of Seventh-day Sabbath-keeping Baptists. Andrews was not fluent in German, so he spent a few weeks in the Wuppertal area preaching in English while Erzberger translated for him. After that, Andrews went back to Switzerland in October 1875. Erzberger stayed and continued holding lectures in Hilden and Solingen, two small towns between the cities of Wuppertal and Dusseldorf. Soon, Erzberger had eight people ready for baptism. And, even though it was midwinter, he baptized them in a lake 147 years ago this week. The group was organized into the first Seventh-day Adventist church in Germany. Here you see the Solingen Church's building in a photograph taken in 1912. Ten years and two days after that first baptism in Germany, the first Seventh-day Adventist church in the Southern Hemisphere was organized in Melbourne, Australia, on January 10, 1886. This was only six months after the first party of Adventist missionaries from the United States had arrived in Australia and was the fruit of tent evangelistic meetings conducted by this man, John Corliss. The new church promptly started holding a new series of evangelistic meetings. By May, the Melbourne Seventh-day Adventist Church had a membership of 90. By 1888, there were 126 Seventh-day Adventists in Australia, which had been organized into a conference. Today, there are nine conferences in Australia, with a membership of more than 63,000. Five years later, on January 10, 1891, Harry Moyle Tippett was born in the county of Cornwall in England. When he was two, his parents and five siblings emigrated to the United States, moving to the city of Butte, Montana. At the age of 25, Harry became a Seventh-day Adventist and soon married one of the members of the Butte SDA church, Gladys Robinson. Harry worked in Montana's copper mines, but in 1919 he started studying at Walla Walla College, where Gladys paid for his fees by teaching sewing classes. Immediately upon graduation in 1924, Harry was called to teach English at Sutherland Academy in Oregon, and after a year, he became principal. However, just one year later, he and Gladys moved to Battle Creek, Michigan, where Harry had been called to teach in the English department of Emmanuel Missionary College, today's Andrews University. Harry taught there for 20 years and introduced Sabbath afternoon Vespers, which many other institutions copied. In 1946, he was called to the Review and Herald Publishing Association in Washington, D.C. to serve as associate book editor. He spent 25 years in that capacity and in all worked for the church for 47 years, retiring only at the age of 81. In addition to editing several hundred books, he himself authored 12 books and wrote many articles for church papers. Harry Tippett died in 1974. That was this week in Adventist history.